products. The other revolutionary technology we have is our flash hybrid storage pool in ZFS. What the flash hybrid storage pool does is it combines DRAM, read-optimized flash devices, write-optimized flash devices, and native SaaS, high-density, low-power spindles in a single, transparently managed caching hierarchy. What that does is it gives you the best price performance for unstructured data in the industry. Right? And the beauty of this is there's nothing to manage. Right? Because you set some very basic policies for your data. ZFS is moving data where it needs to be in this, in this caching hierarchy all transparently. Right? So it's continuously optimized, adapting to your workload. Right? One of the things we did to show the value of this is we did a, a simple bake-off between traditional architecture in the mid-range for performance storage, which is just a bunch of fast spindles, those 15K RPM spindles, and having a hybrid storage pool architecture. Right? So taking two, about 200 of the fast spindles, traditional way of delivering IOPS and performance, and just 48 high-density spindles combined with our flash accelerators. And in the bake-off that we announced uh, earlier this year, Right. In this configuration, you're delivering the same effective capacity, right, because those faster disk drives are smaller, right, but because your hot data is in disks and not in flash, you can't deliver the same performance. So for a traditional sized working set, right, for reads or writes, a hybrid storage pool is going to deliver better read IOPS, better write IOPS by getting those IOPS onto flash than disk. Same effective capacity, yet it's going to deliver about a one-third cost advantage and a two-thirds power savings because you're simply buying fewer spindles, they're the lower power spindles, and you don't need as many of them, right? So this is the economic advantage of using a flash-based hybrid storage pool only available in ZFS storage, and our latest platforms take that to the next level. So two things that, you know, I was talking earlier about what unified storage is good for. I want to show you the details of two of those things now, consolidation and data protection, right? So Think about consolidating storage data in your enterprise, right? What are some of the attributes that are really going to make a difference? Well, the first thing is, if you are going to take a whole bunch of different workloads and lots of clients and aggregate them onto fewer storage systems, then those storage controllers had better be more powerful, right? They better have more CPUs. They better have larger amounts of cache, right? If you have a certain, if you have a terabyte of hot data and you want to get that terabyte of hot data in cache, Right? and you're taking multiple different workloads that have a terabyte of hot data and consolidating them onto one storage controller that only has a, a terabyte of actual cache available, your hot data now falls out of cache. Right? That's just very simple. It doesn't matter what, what your vendor is, what your architecture is, or what software magic you have. That's just the, the sort of laws of physics underlying that. Okay? So versus traditional mid-range storage, when you buy a ZFS storage system from us, you're seeing multiples on some of these things. We've got multiples on amount of processing power to deliver replication and dedupe and compression, multiples on the amount of memory read cache, multiples on the flash cache, right? And also analytics to let you understand how these different workloads are interacting. So when you talk about consolidating lots of virtual machines, lots of different operating systems, that's where all those values we're bringing into ZFS storage really make a difference, right? In those virtualization environments then, and again, you're going to want to understand what happens when you consolidate them. And that's where analytics makes a huge difference. Right? You can take Oracle Virtual Machine today or any other virtualization environment, consolidate many virtual machines onto a ZFS storage platform, turn on dedupe for those OS boot environments. That'll get you about a 10 to 12x space savings. That's all built into the product, remember? And then actually use analytics to understand what this is doing. Take the virtual machines that are important. You can give them the rights to use the flash cache if you want to have additional quality of service. And then pop up your analytics display and actually look at the names of the virtual machines as you've deployed them in their NFS file systems to understand what they're doing and see what their relative performance is all in real time. These are features not available in any other product. And the other area that I mentioned earlier is around data protection, right? Data protection is an area where we think unified storage can be a tremendous tool in your toolbox. Today we're announcing with our second generation ZFS storage products three solutions for data protection in addition to all the data protection solutions already offered for this product. We've got a solution for Oracle RMAN backup, including our complete disk to disk to tape architecture with Sun Oracle Storage Tech tape libraries behind it. We've got database cloning with DataGuard with our free unlimited snapshot and clone feature. Thousands of snapshots are cloned supported with no arbitrary limits imposed. And a fusion middleware disaster recovery scenario that takes advantage of snapshot and clone and remote replication that, of course, works between any of our products, right? 
All of these available today in addition to integration with other standard data protection solutions in the industry. Right? And what these capabilities are going to allow you to do in the enterprise for storage is to use unified storage to build that disk to disk to tape data protection tier below all of your production data. Right? If you were deploying a solution today, large scale enterprise might look something like this, this picture. You've got some set of production data. Right? If you really want to get the best performance for that, it might be deployed on an Exadata, it might be an Exalogic Compute Cloud, or it might be a traditional SAN environment. Right? And then you're going to want to have data protection for that, disaster recovery, and replication to get over to your standby data center, data protection underlying all of that. Right? In this architecture with unlimited snapshots and clones, all the different protocols supported, file mode and block mode equally, and these solutions, one storage platform can take the place of all of those other capabilities. You don't need, different, you don't need a different product to, to, to data protect NAS than you do SAN. You don't need VTLs. We've got snapshots and cloning built in. We've got our Oracle Secure Backup, our tape libraries, all of this engineered and tested to work together. So that lower tier there right, is an amazing place to get more value for your dollars out of unified storage. And again, if you look at what kinds of features are going to be critically important for data protection, these are areas where ZFS storage can really shine. You want to protect your data? Well, you better have, nowadays, with these really big two terabyte spindles, you better have triple parity RAID. We're the only product in the industry and the first product to announce triple parity RAID. Only product in the industry to have end-to-end -end data integrity with 19 nines of protection of checksumming every byte of data and every byte of metadata in ZFS. High performance InfiniBand for data protection. No one else has that. More pipes of 10 gigabit Ethernet as well, built in compression, built in deduplication, and no licenses to manage for any of those features. So, an amazing collection of tools for data protection in the ZFS storage product line. And again, while all of that work is going on, you want to understand what the box is doing. And again, that's where analytics is really going to shine, letting you look at your data protection and replication activities in real time. You can watch those NDMP backups, watch those replication streams, understand which clients are actually using that throughput capability of the box all the way up to 8 gigabytes per second, and looking at what different applications are doing in your environment. So these are all places where we think ZFS storage is going to help you get more value out of your storage dollars using some unique innovations that we're bringing to bear. And this is one of, we think, the primary tools to allow you to begin to rethink your storage environment to accelerate your business. So with that, I'll turn it back to John. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank you. And um, next time, Mike, please uh, show a little enthusiasm for the technology, OK? That'd be great. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, well, I'm going to try not to.